Hey, welcome back, my fellow investors. This is me, ET, and remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a self-taught investor who likes to think of ways to increase one's net worth. Now, today's video is going to be quick, fast, and down to the down to the nitty gritty. We're going to talk about a company that I'm invested in, Eyeless, and they just had a press release this morning. And what I want to do with this video, I just want to hit the highlights of that press release. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now. Uh, the company that they acquire is called Bullhead Products, Inc. All right, let's talk about this. Let's find out a little bit more about this company here. Now, Bullhead Products is a specialty truck, truck bed and conversion company. Bottom line is this here. They specialize in uh, uh, putting on truck beds, the aluminum truck beds, whether it's flat. Most of them, or most of the pictures that I've seen look like it's going to be a flat bed, all aluminum. And uh, they also do some conversions when it comes to the trucks. Now, some of the background information on them. They were established in 2004. They're in Kodak, Tennessee. The current production facility that they have is 8,000 square feet. And their production, they can produce 12 vehicles per month. And they need at least a 16-week lead time. And that company is generating $1 million a year in revenue. Now, Eilis, is, as we all know, is a merger and acquisition company. That's how they grow. They grow through merging and acquiring other profitable companies out there. And they're specializing in, in uh, the public sector, primarily in fire protection, pretty much the fire science, anything dealing with fire science, whether it's the firefighting, fire protection, uh, prevention, or the um, suppression. All right, so let's take a look a little bit now as to why Eilis is interested in this one here. First of all, the cost of the acquisition is unknown. It was an undisclosed amount of uh, cash and it was a small amount of restricted shares. Now, that's in the press release. We already know that in probably the next quarter or the quarter after that, that information is going to be made public because it has to be put into the earnings report. So why, do you, why did Eilis want to purchase uh, Bullhead products? They wanted to do that because Eilis, they wanted to help them, they're gonna use them to help manufacture that Firebug, that rapid response and rescue vehicle that they have, and also that E-Raptor. That E-Raptor is that six wheel uh, utility vehicle that's EV, electric, all right? Uh, now, what Eilis plans on doing, since they've acquired this company now, is they keyed in on this 8,000 square foot in their production capability. They want to increase their production capability. And one way that they're going to do that is they're going to get, they're going to move them into a 15 to 20,000 square foot uh, production facility. Still going to be in there, be there at uh, Kodak, uh, Tennessee. What this is going to allow them to do is to double their production, and it's going to cut their lead time from 16 weeks to 8 to 10 weeks lead time. Now, they're predicting that they're going to be able to increase the revenue from that $1 million a year to 5, uh, that's a B, that's supposed to be an M, $5 million in, by, in 2022. All right. Also, Eilis is working with a, uh, on a contract that's in Mississippi for bullhead products if they win this contract just phase one the phase one order of this contract is going to be worth 1.1 million dollars that's just the phase one of the contract and remember they do by themselves they do a million dollars a year so this phase one contract is going to supply uh, surpass what they make in a year now also in this press release they talked about the pending acquisitions they had talked about two in particular. I guess they have one in Georgia that's almost done. Um, all it has to do is go through uh, the, the notification process there. But they talked about two more. They talked about one in Texas, which is a pump and equipment manufacturer. Now remember, everything is kind of centered around public service vehicles, primarily fire protection. So we're talking about fire pumps and equipment. Also, they're talking. They're they're looking at uh, acquiring a company in Florida uh, that uh, specializes in the fixed fire fighting systems. In other words, um, 
your sandpipe systems that's in a lot of your buildings and so forth. Now, one of the things at the very, very end of that press release, uh, Nick Link, the CEO of Ilus, this is what he said. He said the third quarter's, uh, he said the third quarter earnings will be the strongest quarter yet. He couldn't talk about it because it's not released yet. And he said that they're on track for 2021 target. Remember, remember what they said at the end of the second quarter when they released that, and they were looking at a total for the first six months of 2.8 mil. They're saying that they, they wanted to finish out this year. The target for this year was 15 million. So they got to do about 12 million in the last six months. And they're saying that right now they're on track for that. So that tells me that this third quarter is going to have some good numbers. All right. Very, very good numbers. I would imagine that revenue is probably going to be in the range of four to five million dollars, if not more. All right. That there was just the, really the gist of this press release. If you guys are interested in taking a look at this press release, I'll link it in the description below or if you wait to the very, very, very end of this video, I'll go ahead and post it there on the video so that way you can take a look at it. All right. Now, also, if you found this information useful, please do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification button. That'll really help out the channel. All right, guys, with all of that said, guys, I will see you on the next update video. Guys, take care. Bye-bye.